Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to show you my new 44 inch master build pellet smoker. Uh, got this uh, last weekend, and I'm going to be using it this weekend uh, to smoke two briskets and, and like three racks of ribs. Uh, I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. You know, this bad boy right here has got plenty of room uh, for just about anything you wanted to throw at it. Okay, let me show you what it looks like on the inside. This is it, this is the master built uh, pellet smoker, 44 inch. Uh, over on the side right here, you got the, the, the hopper that holds the, the pellets and the control panels right here on the side. And uh, you got several options. You can uh, not smoke and just use it as a, like an oven, or you, you know, it's got the option you know, to uh, smoke obviously. Uh, and, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can also uh, use it as a cold smoker, okay? But inside right here is where the pellets uh, go in. And as you can see, I've already uh, uh, primed it and used it a little bit, okay? Uh, let me show you what the inside of it looks like. Okay, it's got a nice little handle. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six racks, okay? And these are huge racks. These aren't, you know, little video racks. These are, you know, big old racks. You can put a lot of food uh, on these, okay? Uh, it's nice little design that they came up with uh, over here on the bottom. You obviously have your uh, uh, fire chamber and uh, it's got a little drip pan right there where uh, the grease uh, drips over to the side and it's got a little tube and it catches and it catches it over here on the, on the outside okay um, right here uh, you know it took me by surprise but you know that's actually uh, the the water bowl you fill that up with your with your water and you know close it up and you know that's that's how you fill it up with water but besides that I'm really excited uh, with my new master build 44 inch uh, to give it a try this weekend and I'm actually going to start tonight. I got two briskets and three racks of ribs I'm going to throw at it and uh, you guys stay tuned. We'll see how it looks like. Here we go guys. It's roughly about midnight uh, Friday night uh, going into Saturday morning and uh, got my two briskets uh, in here and uh, going to let them smoke uh, you know till the morning you know see how they come out. Okay, but besides that guys, uh, this is what my master bill looks like with two briskets. Tomorrow morning around 6, I'll be putting the, the other racks of ribs uh, in here as well. Okay, I've got the temperature set at 250 degrees. And uh, let's see how this uh, master bill pellet smoker does. Okay, you guys stay tuned. Morning guys, uh, JP Barbecue here. I want to show you what these ribs are starting to look like. They've been smoking all night long uh, since about midnight last night. So they got about a good seven and a half hours uh, into the smoke. So uh, as you can see, this bad boy is putting out a lot of smoke. Okay, let me show you what this brisket looks like right now. The other thing we're going to do also is go ahead and throw these uh, spare ribs in there. Okay, the spare ribs usually takes about six hours, uh, you know, to smoke. So, you know, we're, we're going to throw them in there uh, at this time. That way they can start smoking and they'll be ready uh, this afternoon. Okay, but besides that, check it out. Okay, here's our briskets. Uh, briskets are taking a nice uh, color to them. Uh, you know, starting to get that bark formed on them. I went ahead and threw these spare ribs in here down at the bottom. You always want to put the uh, raw food starting at the bottom, and then as you as you start rotating them, uh, rotate them towards the top. But uh, again, you know, 
we still got plenty of room. I got room up here for uh, one more rack if I wanted to put one in there. And I took the bottom rack out as, as well. But besides that, this is what it looks like so far. Uh, current temperature of our brisket, one of them is at 136 and the other one was, I believe, 118. So, uh, you know, slight difference between them uh, due to the size. One of them was much bigger. I think this is the, the top one that's uh, at a lower temp. Okay, but besides that, you guys think so much pretty what these uh, turn out like. Barbecue here. Been smoking these briskets all night, all day long. Uh, oh my gosh, this has been the longest smoke, longest brisket smoke uh, I've done. Um, did two briskets, okay? I went ahead and uh, wrapped one of them. Uh, they say that if you ever get in a crunch and you're, uh, you know, not having enough time, then, you know, go ahead and wrap them. And, and that helps with, uh, with the smoking process or with the, it speeds up the process in regards to getting it done, okay? But besides that, I wrapped one of them and left the other one unwrapped. And uh, what we're gonna do is do a uh, comparison between uh, a wrapped brisket and an unwrapped brisket and see if there's any difference in taste and texture, okay? So besides that, you guys stay tuned and I'll show you what these briskets look like. Barbecue here. I uh, wanted to give you an update on how these uh, briskets uh, turned out. Uh, keep in mind that I've been smoking these briskets since midnight uh, uh, last night and it's roughly about uh, nine o'clock at nine o'clock at night now so they've been smoking a good I don't know was that nine ten eleven twelve uh, twenty one hours okay but um, the comparison is doing a brisket wrapped to a brisket unwrapped and obviously if, if, if you unwrap if you have a brisket unwrapped it's gonna take longer to smoke and this brisket here was roughly about an 18 pound uh, brisket Okay, and and you 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 with something this big, you're probably looking at uh, at an hour per pound. Okay, uh, this other brisket was also just as big, but when it got to about 150 degrees, 155 degrees, I wrapped it in aluminum, and that's what it was. That's what they call the the Texas crutch, or they call it a crutch because what happens is now you're able to contain all the moisture uh, inside of the aluminum and it creates a nice uh, vapor seal inside and, and it cooks much faster, okay? So if you're ever in a crunch for brisket, uh, wrapping it when you get to about 155, 160 uh, degrees uh, will speed up the process in regards to uh, uh, getting it done. But besides that, what we're looking at is uh, we're gonna see what these brisket uh, taste like. Okay, this brisket already, we've already cut into it and we've already ate some of it, okay? And it's, and as you can see, it, it's, it's got plenty of uh, uh, juices in it. Okay, look at the moisture uh, that's in it. And it created such a beautiful uh, smoke ring on it. Take a look at this smoke ring, wow. My goodness, okay. And as far as taste, you know, you can't, you can't beat it. Look at this. Look how it just shreds apart. You know, this is good, good brisket that's been um, tenderizing very good. So I'm gonna take a little bite of this. Mmm, cause it is just so good. And now uh, we're gonna cut into that other one, and uh, the wife and I are gonna try it out. See what, see what we think. Okay, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight for the point. Okay, I'm gonna cut this brisket right in the middle. And uh, ooh, <laughs> you see what it looks like. Okay. Oh wow! Look at this. Okay, look at that. Look at that beautiful, oh, I, I don't know if the, if the camera does justice, but it has got some uh, beautiful juices. Oh, it is hot, okay? And the beautiful smoke ring on, on the top and on the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna cut a, another little slice off of this. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. You wanna try some, Mama? 
Let's see. Let's cut us a little piece right here. The bark, you know, is incredible. You know, it's uh, got a nice little crusty uh, bark to it. Okay. And um, let's take a look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. That is very, very nice. I'm going to try this out, see what it's all about. It's really hot. Mm. That's good. That's good. I don't, surprisingly, smoked brisket unwrapped may take longer, but it tastes better. Okay. It's, it's not that this one's bad. You know, it's still good brisket. But this brisket right here, I don't know if maybe the, the, the bark on the top of it, uh, held a lot of the juices in but it's got a very good taste to it i like it mm. oh my gosh unwrapped for sure uh it's, it's much better okay and i gotta give a little piece to the wife because she's looking at me funny so there you go. Try that, baby, and you tell me what you think. Is it good? Yeah. Nice? Wow, look at that. Man. Oh, you just put a little pressure on it, and the juices come out. I mean, I don't know if it's going to come through in the camera, but look how it uh, glistens down here in the bottom. It's just... Tons of moisture, tons of juice, and this is the unwrapped brisket, okay, that's been uh, smoking for 21 hours, okay. Well, as far as the brisket, uh, wrapped, unwrapped comparison, uh, hands down, uh, unwrapped is, 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 is much better. Uh, it is going to take longer, um, you know, to get done because, you know, it's, it's, it just is, you know, when you wrap it. You speed up the process. Unwrapped takes mm -hmm. its time nice and slow. And we smoked this um, at about 250, 260 degrees. And, and it's been smoking since midnight last night. So we're looking at about 21 hours uh, smoking this brisket. So uh, it's worth every, every minute of it. Okay, but besides that, if you guys like what we're doing here, uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, appreciate if you guys read down in the description and look at my affiliates and uh, uh, if you got any comments uh, feel free to uh, comment and share and I'll get back with you guys but besides that uh, thanks for watching JP Barbecue.